Alright guys, we're gonna run to the mailbox really quick and see if the garlic from Vessies is in. And if it is, then we're gonna get it planted when we get back. And if it's not, then we're gonna plant the stuff that I saved from the grocery store and we'll see how well it does. Um, either way, we are planting garlic today because tomorrow's the last day before it's supposed to rain a bunch. So what I'm gonna do today is plant the garlic and um, get it covered with straw. Uh, I'll probably till it up a bit just before I plant the garlic um, and then plant it all, get it covered with the straw, like I said, and then um, I will continue to just shovel into the soil and just turn the soil as far down as I can get. And then um, tomorrow, however far I get, I will just basically um, whack the shoveled up soil with the hoe just to smooth it all out and that'll be that and I'm not going to worry about it after tomorrow because it's supposed to rain all weekend I'm not going to worry about it after that and we're just going to move forward however far we get we'll till the rest in the spring so we'll see how far we get today say hi hi alright Alright, the garlic is in, so we're going to start prepping everything for planting the garlic in a few minutes. Alright. made it 10 minutes but somebody is not happy no I get it it's kind of chilly and windy I didn't know how long we'd last but um, we've marked out how far we need for the garlic and now we will go in and prepare the garlic for planting this afternoon hopefully all right so right now we're not going to worry about the messy kitchen behind no. us. Um, right now, we are going to prepare the garlic to get planted outside. Um, so, let's get started. All right, so we have one pound of marbled purple striped garlic, one pound of music porcelain garlic, and one pound of, I'm so not gonna say this right, racambole, racambole, or racambole, I don't know. Um, garlic though, one pound. I am going to keep them all separated because each one is going to have its own row. And woohoo! We have our spring catalog, which is awesome. All right. Okay. So 
So, let's see what we have. So, from what I understand, this is going to be a big mess. Oh well. So you want to take each little bulb, like each little thing off on the outside, but try to keep all the paper on. So that's the trick. And I'm just slowly wiggling them to see if I can get any loose enough to pop off. Oh, there, see? No. So you want to keep each one of these and try and keep all the paper on. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was about ten bulbs of garlic per pound, just so you know. So I consulted the um, garden planner that I have going with the Farmer's Almanac and with the rows that I have right now it had said 48 plants per whatever um, and I think I made it a little bigger so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to sort through right now look for the 50 biggest bulbs that I have out of this and I'm going to put them back into the bag and then the rest I will just like keep aside and maybe just freeze as whole just to use for cooking. Um, but we're going to keep 50 of each one because in my planner I have three rows. Each one calls for 48 plants. Um, so we can probably stick a couple more in there because I did, I think I shoveled out a little bit more room than what I had initially planned. But I have to find um, the measuring tape because apparently Josh put that in the garbage. So got to find that because <laughs> I accidentally pulled it all the way out and uh apparently wrecked it so cool all right so this was the container for the garlic that i was going to plant if these didn't come in on time uh so i gotta do something with those because they're yeah Probably just gonna peel them and freeze them. Oof. Apparently fermenting garlic is a uh, very strong smelling. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in that pound. The whole bulb doesn't feel very good. Um, it scares me. These are all one, by the way. Look at that. That is one bulb. It's huge. One, two.
All right, so now when I get a break, I am going to go outside and plant these. I just have to really quickly uh, go over like how far I'm planting them into the ground and how far away I'm spacing them and roughly how I'm going to figure out um, how to do the three rows because in my garden, vegetable garden adventures in the past, um, I've never done row gardening. I've done container gardening and that's about it. Um, and the garden, the vegetable garden I had in my old house was just kind of like a flower garden turned into a vegetable garden. So it was just kind of like sticking them wherever I could. So this is the first time I've ever actually planned out a row garden. <laughs> so this should be interesting. Um, I don't even know if I have all the tools, but I'm going to try to get Joseph down for a nap just to, he's not feeling well today. So let's get him down for a nap and see if I can sneak out while both of the kids are napping. <laughs> All right, so I did my research and I have to plant the garlic. Uh, the rows have to be about 10 feet, no, 10 inches apart, 10 feet, that'd be huge. <laughs> 10 inches apart. Uh, and then when you get your row going that you're gonna plant your garlic in, you're gonna plant them about two inches below the soil. And then I did read um, that you should insulate the soil with like mulch or straw. And we have the straw from when we had the guinea hens. And so I'm just gonna use that and cover all the rows with it. And uh, I have to go find a measuring tape, but we're gonna see how quickly I can get this done because both kids are upstairs, but I do have the baby monitor in case they start crying. But uh, we're gonna try and do this really quickly. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler, so who's to say? I definitely cannot do a straight row with a hoe. But there's row number one, row number two, row number three. So Make sure. All right. Row number one is going to be music, music porcelain. When you plant the garlic, you're gonna plant the root side down so the pointy side faces up like that. And I'm just gonna plop them in. I think you have to space them out about four inches I think it was so Alright, next is marbled purple striped garlic. Gamboli garlic. So this is what they look like. As you can see, they're sticking up in the ground. So that's all three rows. 
It was Rackamboli, and I don't remember the other two because they're both like a purple, I think it was purple stripe. And then, what is it? Marble purple stripe. And music. So yeah, we have music, marble purple stripe, and Rackamboli. And then I'm just going to cover the dirt over and get the straw. Alright, so you guys missed most of that. Anyway, so I got all the manure spread out and then I put this onto the plants, which is bone and blood meal and it has uh, nitrogen and phosphorus, which I really just want to feed the soil because this has not had anything in the soil for a very long time. Um, so it's So that's what it looks like, it doesn't smell the best. And it's said to put about five tablespoons per meter squared. And so, I don't know if you can see, like these little pebbles that look like gravel, that's it in the soil. So, like they aren't very big at all. So, that's my three rows of garlic planted and I've put spikes in uh, and I put three rocks over there one two and three just to kind of mark the rows for springtime because I don't want to disturb these in the spring so doing anything wet today. So, I think we're gonna call it a day. Plus, the boys will be home in about half an hour, so I should probably start dinner and move this. And that safe spot is under the porch. All right. So really quickly, the reason I put the straw on because I was reading, I don't remember if it was the Farmer's Almanac or where, um, I don't know, but to me the Farmer's Almanac is kind of like law. They've been around for so many years, my grandparents grew by what the Almanac was telling them, so and I'm pretty sure it was there, I will verify where, but uh, it said to cover the garlic bed and insulate it in straw or mulch. So a lot of people might think that I am just nuts doing this, it, it might blow away. But the other positive I thought about while I was doing it is it's going to also save the soil from if the kids walk on it. That is my huge thing for this first year is trying to keep the kids away from 
the garden and um, it is going to be it is going to be a bit of a challenge to keep the kids away just for the first year until they get used to all of this so I thought that the really cool thing um, was just the fact that if they do happen to walk on the straw it's really not gonna do much to the soil underneath so that was cool um, but yeah so basically I've got the three rows of garlic planted I you'll you'll see what I did um, and you'll probably while you're watching it be like what the hell is she doing but when I dug the rows obviously the soil packs up in the middle so what I tried to do was dig down like the soil row to like have the soil just gently fall on either side in the rows it half worked and it half didn't so um, like I said I've never planted in rows this is my first year doing this so we're all gonna learn together on <laughs> how and how not to plant a garden in rows but we've got our first things planted i'm really excited so we'll have that was i did get all 50 bulbs of the garlic in not the like each individual bulb i don't know what you call them but anyway we've got 50 garlic planted per row so that's 150 uh that we should be expecting for in next summer and then i believe i have to keep about 25 or 50 back to be able to plant again next fall uh, but that's not for another three quarters of a year. I have to worry about that. But anyway, first things are planted. I'm super excited. And we'll also see, A, if I planted them too deep, how it goes, all that stuff. Um, and how this straw is going to work out for next year. So that'll kind of be like a little experiment as well. So we'll see if the straw really did help. Or if it was just a huge mess that I have to clean up in the spring. We'll find out. So... Um, yeah, I'm pretty much done today. I'm going to grab the garbage that's blowing around because it is windy out. And then I'm going to go in and relax before the boys get home. Hi! I thought this is a lying place. Oh, boys. Out here, lying, let's go, let's go, let's go. 